All right, Monty, it's a par four. We hit a really good drive. And a lot of my worst shots come after my best drives. So I've, I've hit it on this 400 yard hole that's downhill, wind helping everything else. And I only have like 50 yards left. Yeah. Why is this one of the three shots that you said that people, if they got better at this, it would be such a difference for them? So this is a shot that everybody has all day long. If you yeah. short par four, if you kill one on a par on a on a mid long par four, third shot into a par five, or you've hit a bad shot on a par three, or like when we punch out of the trees and then you're yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. The forty to sixty yard shot universally gets butchered by all but the very most skilled golfers, and there's a huge reason why it happens, and it's really really funny. John Daly had this issue. It's funny enough. And John Daly had a great reputation as having a great short game and great pitching, which was well-deserved. Yeah, His hands, hands were yeah. amazing. But I witnessed firsthand, um, once playing with him and then several times watching him at tour events, for, you know, obviously he's better than the rest of us, but at a tour level, he is horrible from this distance for the same reason that golfers are horrible from this distance. They take their regular backswing and then try to slow impact to hit it short. Yeah, yeah John's got the, the famous. Okay, and, then, and trying to yeah, hit the ball 50 yards from here, you're not gonna have much success. Yeah. So, even, so let's say, you know, the typical amateur golfer, you know, this is their normal backswing for a full wedge trying to hit it 50 yards from here is going to provide nothing but disaster. So these are the, the, the normal reactions. So we're going to do a thing, Monty, before you continue, yeah, yeah. Not to, we're going to yeah. do a thing like we did in the trees, where I'm going to hit it the normal way, uh, way here. So okay. kind of like the John Daly way. Okay. So just, I'll make about this thing and that's too much. So now I'm going to, I got to kind of slow it down. See, uh, and there you go. Yeah, so what that's, happened that's, to you on there is what's typical. Yeah. One of two things happens when you do that. Number one, you either massively just decel, create no speed at all, right. and you hit behind it and you chunk it from here to there. Uh -huh. Higher level players do what you just did there. You take it back here, you have your normal acceleration of the ball, right, you and your brain yeah. goes, ah, danger. And then when you slow acceleration down by the ball, it kicks the club up and you either blade it, shank it, or both. All right, we have some space here at, at Oak Creek, so, luckily. So uh, now we're gonna go 50 yards this way because we're gonna be more face onto the camera. Right. Because you're saying this is really where the issue is, not right. in a down the line kind of deal. It's no, a, no. A face on thing. Okay, so, so. So before was. Right, now, it, everybody, you know, there are people with long backswings, and I'm like, all right, stop at left arm parallel, and it's the same length backswing. Yeah, very tough to do. This is what you, th th this takes some practice, okay? You have to get accustomed to it. In your mind, only take it to waist high. Okay. Okay? And then fight the urge to over accelerate. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. huge. Because your brain's saying, well, that's, that's, that's not, not going enough. anywhere. <laughs> right. Fight oh, the yeah. urge right. to over accelerate. Okay, waist high and and just let it do what it wants to do. See, there you oh, go. That was, that was nice. Okay, it's about 40 yards, uh -huh. nice low trajectory. So that'd this, be 40 yards and then 10 yards roll. Yeah. Right. So what I tell people is this is this is how I get people to get it, so to speak. Right. Make it clear. So, so let's say we got a 50 yard shot. Uh -huh. Okay. I say take a 20 or a 30 yard backswing and a 50 yard through swing. So kind of cheat towards our, our uh, audience here, Monty, and, and say that again, because I want them to understand what I just saw. So, so what I, what I, cause when you, people will just instinctively take a full backswing. Now, if I asked you, I said, only hit this 20 yards. Yeah. You wouldn't do this. No. Okay. 20 yards, you're going to go to here. All right. Then, You've got to fight the urge to over accelerate, still only try to hit it 50 yards from the 20 yard backswing. Okay. Okay. Well, if I'm going to 20 yard backswing trying to hit it 50, wouldn't that make no, it? No, no, no. Because 50 okay. yards doesn't, you're used to slowing down. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. You still want to get forward motion. It's a forward motion oh, that okay. you have to have, not speed. 
so, forward motion. So if this is a 20 yard backswing, right, Monty? Yes. And what is the thing that's going to make it not go 20, but go 50? What's going to give it the little? Uh, that's enough of a backswing to hit it 50. Oh, okay. All Your right. perception is a 20 right. yard backswing, right. but as you just saw, it went 50, no right. problem. So 20 yards is 20 steps, uh, a little short of that sand there. So if I was hitting it 20 yards, it'd be about like that. Right. So do that, but then make it go 50. Yep. Nice. Well, that was quality. I mean, was three really feet great. from the other one. Yeah. So really that, fun. that is almost a universal problem. Uh -huh. And now those balls came out low and flat. Uh -huh. If you go to a PGA Tour event, the vast majority of these 50 yard shots are coming out yeah. low and flat. Yeah. And all you got to do to get it up in the air is just move the ball forward. All right, so that, those, both those shots would be absolutely perfect to our pin location that's here. We won't want to kill anybody, so we're not going that way, but, uh, and we want face on. Let's imagine, Monty, let, let's put it in the extreme, where it's a, it's a front pin and then a bunker with a high lip. Mm -hmm. Mentally, very difficult, because you, you want to like- Okay, yeah. here's the irony. Then come around here, because I want people to see Here's you. the irony. These movements are physically easier to do than what people normally do. Yes. Mentally, not so much. Yeah. Mentally and emotionally, these movements are difficult. So you don't have to practice them from a motor skill standpoint. It's a trust up yeah. here. Yeah. So if you want to bring it in high over that big lip, the same thing you just did, just move the ball forward. Uh, yeah, I love that because I don't have to do anything different. Just All right, so now the ball's in between a three wood and a driver, would you say? Yep. Even though my, my stance is closer. Yep. Yeah. And then and then the, the forward motion of the follow through is just higher. Okay. So 20, finish high. Yep. Over that, the lip of that. Oh yeah. See? So, I mean, that's four feet from the uh -huh. other ones. And that ball had twice uh -huh. the trajectory that do the you, other ones had. Do you had. think because of the forward ball position and the more height, so that's more height, so it's gonna take more energy to go higher. So you might have to make it a little bigger, or no, still, still keep it about 20. Okay, again, your brain, is, your subconscious brain is smarter than you are, mm -hmm. okay? So give me that ball. Yeah. Let's have these two balls here. Sure. So you stand right there. Okay. I'll kind of come over, kind of next to the camera over here. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna throw you one on a flat trajectory from the same okay. arm. So I'm gonna take the ball back to here. Okay, no, low trajectory. About to your belt, yeah. Okay, yeah. your brain will know how much force you uh -huh. need to put on it to get it there. Yeah, this is a lot like your pitching lesson where you, you hit one and you're like, all right, there. It's about that far. There, there, yeah. This is not this is not a difficult physical skill. It's it's a difficult emotional skill. So now I'm gonna hit it about seventy. Okay. Or no, what is that that tree trunk? That's that's probably sixty five. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna hit it sixty five, but really I'm gonna feel it to my belt about and just hit it there, right? Right. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, perfect. Oh, I hit the tree. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Good. So you know. It, the, there's, this is where we're, we're, you know, we talked about internal and external focus in another video. Your internal focus is shorter yeah. backswing. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you go internal, external, uh -huh. okay? Short backswing to there. the target. Yeah. All right, Monty, but people don't want to just see me hit shots. We got to see you hit one. Oh my gosh. I know, I'm putting you on the spot. This is, I'm going to hurt myself. <laughs> putting you on the spot here. So Monty, a 50 yard shot. So t tell me as far as that, not to, not to ice you here, but I, I want to Oh, no, know. that's fine. I want to know. So if it's like, a, say, a, a normal thing, if you're trying to, with your 60-degree wedge, how far, and a 50-yard shot, how much roll do you want on, on one that's perfect if you're trying to hold it? It's funny yeah. you say that. This, you can't teach. This is experience. I've hit tens of thousands of these shots in my life in... You know, I, I mean, I've only played in a couple of PGA Tour events, but you know, what's now called the Corn Ferry Tour, I've played in a lot of high level events and I practiced 40 to 60 hours a week when I was a touring pro. 
these things just become automatically you vis automatic you visualize the shot okay if i want the ball to come in low and release i picture it if i want the ball to come in high and stop i picture it i don't say do this 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 uh, and this yeah. that's where you start to get locked up that's why i'm not a fan of you know from here to here i right. just kind of say shorter longer right. you know so depending on the greens, that's how much roll you'll want and you know, the slopes. Because yeah. let's, let's be honest, if you go to your local Muni where the greens are super, super soft and they're running seven on the stint meter, and then you know when I played in the US Open where the greens are brick hard and running 12, yeah. the same shot is gonna finish 60 feet apart. Right. So you have to, you know, that's where it's a, it's a mental game where you just kind of go, well, I need to hit it about that hard. Okay. So I'll just give you a 50 yard shot, just like you're playing here at Oak Creek oh, today. Oh, I'm gonna lay the sod over this one just for the camera so everyone can make fun of me. <laughs> no, not possible. Perfect, right next to my balls. Yeah, that was great. On the spot. Okay, uh, thanks a lot, Monty, that was great. Absolutely, and you know, I just wanna leave everybody with this. Don't feel like you're, the, the three shots we talked about today, <clears throat> as I said in the introduction, these are universal problems across all skill levels. Yeah. The biggest problem that people have is they get down, I stink, I can't do this, I'm terrible. You can oh, yeah. do this. These, these changes are not difficult. Yeah. It's, it's more of a trust issue than, you know, and the way to hit these three shots that we discussed, it's easier to do it the way we discussed. Yeah. It's just more comfortable to do it the way you're currently doing it and you gotta get past that. What, what is the final thing you would tell somebody that they're doing this and they just can't stop themselves from over accelerating? A lot of times people think they're not, but like if they could be a ghost and step outside of their body, they would see like they're really, you know, what's the best the thing? Easy, the easiest control? thing I say, this is the biggest issue where people have improving any part of their game yeah. is when they don't have immediate success, they give up, yeah, right. okay? So like, you know, Hypothetically, you know, I, I, after three injuries, I got all the way up from 200 to 255. I'm back down to 230 right now. If I decided I want to get back down to 200, which I need to do, and I went on on a workout program and eating better, and after a week I get on the scale and I'm still at 230 and I'm like, this isn't working and I give up, yeah. everybody would look at me like I'm an idiot. Mm -hmm. But that's the way we all treat our golf games. We give up when we don't have immediate success and we don't see immediate, you know, rewards. Yeah, there's a lot going on between the ground all the way up to, to your head as far as there's so many different muscles involved. And uh, it's, uh, I, I don't like when pros talk, a lot of pros talk, about, like they go on rants about how difficult the golf swing is. It's just depressing to hear, but it is very hard to do. It's, we make it difficult. Yeah. It's not difficult, it's intricate. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, there you a, go. a different yeah. different thing and we make it more difficult because when you apply logic to the golf swing it almost always fails yeah and the more control you put on it the more chaos you get out of it so that's yeah. why in my teaching I don't I never say this is the right way what that guy's teaching is the wrong way I say it is my perception that what I'm saying is easier yeah Okay, thanks for watching everybody. I wanna uh, make you guys aware that the, this series of, in my opinion, incredible videos that are coming out with Monty is brought to you by Monty's new training aid called the 300 yard impact. It's a, a guard, we have it sitting right over there, we're just using it for uh, the last hour. It's a, a little pad that goes on your wrist and it, since you're a Be Better Golfer, you get a special discount on it. There's a promo code written right here. If you go to 300yardimpact.com and you enter the special Be Better Golf promo code, you will get a great discount on it. It's fantastic, especially coming up on the holiday season. If you have a golfer for your, to get yourself a gift, but if you have a golfer in your life, it's, uh, it's still within that stocking stuffer level. It's not the, the normal uh, $150 that a training aid would be. It's right. in that stocking stuffer level and uh, it's effective. It'll help you. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye. Great. <laughs>